Hello, strategy tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War with me, Blue Ankylo. So, um, between episodes, I've added a couple more uh, soldiers and done a couple more edits for people who've asked for a couple things. So you should see some new names on this list. Um, of course, because there's some delay between when I post the videos and when I record them, or the other way around, um, I can't always fulfill all requests, but uh, we should have some more names in here, up to, up to date for me at least. And uh, hopefully you see yours. Uh, I did notice that if we have another uh, mission right away, we've got literally one new person with a name ready to go. And everyone else is either wounded or fatigued. <laughs> so hopefully we can have a small rest. Uh, other things I looked, off, looked at off camera was facilities. Um, each satellite uplink gives us one satellite. I think it's two in vanilla, but it's only one in this mod. So, plus one per adjacent. So what, what my plan is, is to have one here, 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 and here. And once they're all four in a square, that should be three each. That should give us 12 satellites altogether. That's my plan. I think there's 16 or countries. I'll have to check the sit, rep, sit room, uh, the situation room again or whatever. But if we need to, we'll expand further down and add two more here. I think we'll be able to get um, satellite nexus eventually. And they'll provide hopefully more than just one. But anyway, that's the plan. And we'll probably do a big block of fission generators to here. And then a steam generator. So that's hopefully all the power we'll need. And then, hopefully not too long away, we're going to want to start building some of the special buildings. And I'd like, to, I mean, preferably, I would actually like to put this alien containment up in the corner here. Because it doesn't get any adjacency bonuses. Um... Unfortunately, we don't really need the alien containment because we can't actually capture them yet at all. Um, it might be smarter to throw a foundry over here because it's we could afford it right now. And this lets us start upgrading a few things possibly, or at least learning about it. Uh, but it can't be torn down once we build it. And it does have the adjacency with workshops. So, um, I mean, it's probably smarter to put a block of 2x2 two two workshops somewhere. Um, in fact, workshops are a very high priority for me. I really need to start getting those going. Um, labs aren't bad either, obviously. Um, but you like to put labs and workshops in blocks. So, like, maybe 2x2 two two of labs here, 2x2 two two of workshops here. And then the side can be, like, the, um, there's an officer training at some point. The alien thing, the foundry, whatever ex extra special buildings. Unfortunately, it's going to take a while to get enough money to go all the way down. Maybe we should just start making a couple access lifts right now and prepare to start building stuff down here. Um, I could also start building another fission generator right now, which I might do just to stay ahead. It doesn't say any upkeep, so it might be smarter to just get these going ahead of time. Oh, it does have maintenance. Well, point is, I think we'll need it, and I think we'll have some money coming in pretty good pretty soon, so. We'll spend our money on that, just so we can start expanding. And then once I can get sort of to the third level, I'll start putting a workshop and a lab in probably pretty quickly. And, um, yeah, I think that'll work just fine. That's, that's what I decided anyway. We'll see if it's the best. In the other um, strategy deciding, uh, satellites. We should have two satellites done relatively soon. And I think what I'm going to do is just use them to complete requests. All of these three countries have asked for satellites, and they will give us two engineers as soon as we get it. I'd like to do all three. Um, I think Japan is extra so more likely to get it because we're going to get 150 a month additional plus one engineer required. per month. The other options were China, which is pretty good, another 130. It's in the Asia nose, so we could try to go for all of Asia, possibly. I think Future Combat's the one that gives us discounts for the officer training, I think. It's been a while. I assume it's the same bonus in vanilla. Negative. And then the Brazil's not bad the either. Research team. Although it gives us a scientist at first, uh, you, get a, you get both of them eventually. That's the cheaper power. And it's nice because it's it's just a two-country continent, so we definitely wanted we could get Argentina and Brazil this month if we wanted, but it's kind of less money. It's only 160 per month extra. I think we're probably going to do China and Japan and get 280 instead, and also two engineers or lots more engineers over over time. That's my plan. That means we'll have to start planning to buy some more um, ravens for China, or sorry for Asia. And that way we can focus on North America and Asia to start with. And I think, like, India and Australia aren't bad. 90, 80 per month. That's not horrible. You tell um, the men we can't have them bringing back alien Europe's body parts pretty good. souvenirs. It's mostly it's just um, Africa and South America. Argentina, Egypt, and Nigeria. Those are the really low-paying ones. 
Mexico as well, strictly speaking. We don't actually need more satellites in North America yet. We're pretty happy here. So anyway, enough rambling. That's what we're, that's the plan anyway. So we'll see how it goes. Hope you're happy. I didn't even start my timer today. I don't know how long that took. So, all right. Looks like it'll take five days for the uplink, nine days for the uh, satellites. So we'll be done by the end of March. I'll try to put up at least one or two satellites per month if I can keep it up. Because unless things have changed... Seriously? I didn't even let the time pass. Um, we're going to get a reward of one scientist for some corpses. Sure, you can have them. Totally. So some Mexicans are happy with us. Great. Does that actually lower their um, panic a little bit, maybe? Just kind of interested. It might have. I don't know if they were at a full block or not. Anyway, whatever. Let's just keep going. So that was interesting. I didn't even hit scan. It was just the passive time passing, actually. Managed to get that. Anyway, let's uh, let's keep... Let's get some time moving. Good. We've got probably enough players ready to go. Oh, another another, uh, re another um, request. We're getting lots of requests. This one was for Australia. They would like a satellite as well. So that's three from Asia. So really... I don't know if I'll have time to... I might just skip the Brazil one. Get China and Japan done right away. And then hopefully we'll have more satellites for Australia by the time that comes up. It's starting to work out, eh? It's starting to work out. Alright, Nigeria. They also want corpses. Sure, whatever. You guys can have them. We get scientists. That should improve our research speed. No problem. Keep going. Commandant is back. Power generator complete. Awesome. Alright, this we're getting lots of stuff done. It's we're getting a lot more uh, progress in time here this episode. So we got some more fission. They're in uh, sync now. We've got lots of power. When this one finishes, we'll have tons of power. So it's just a matter of getting enough money to, to start stuff up, actually. That's really good. Uh, there's something I was going to check. Was there anything to build? I would preferably like to have a workshop ready before we go for any more satellites, just to lower the cost. But we'll see if I can afford it. We'll, we'll look at our money next month. Um, I guess that's it. Let's just keep going. Event log... Oh, research! I wanted to have a quick look. I appreciate look. your efforts to support What's the, the research um, team, Commander. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. I wish, I wish there was a, a, a little uh, note here about what your research speed is, because we ha we should have twelve scientists. We got two more, but I don't know exactly. I think this one took eighteen days before, so I think two more scientists has shaved three days off of the total speed. Plus the one we're working on was the same, so it probably saved us a couple days. Whatever, I'm wasting days talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, it's something like that. Alright, we got our uplink. uplink Good, complete. carry on. I don't think we have satellites ready. We should be able to launch those two as soon as we get to that day, so... Let's just keep going. Oh yeah, we're gonna have all of our dudes ready. This is Access looking good. Left operational. Actually, this, this might... This is the longest stretch of time we've had yet that we haven't had an attack. So now we can start excavating this floor. I think I will start... Maybe I won't. I mean, I was planning on building satellite uplinks here, you know? We'll, we'll get prepared for it. These are the ones I really want to build a workshop and a lab in. I don't think I'm going to need any power yet. Which is the next access. Left another hundred bucks. That'll be the next thing I build, probably. We'll have a look at our money in a little bit end of month. Alright, let's get those satellites going. Hopefully before much longer. More sectoid corpses. Give me them scientists. That's beautiful. Alright. Commander. Okay, while well, we are making progress. For launch. We are ready to deploy it on your order. So, let's launch some satellites. So, I think... Oh, Russia's up to a full, uh... Did they get a free satellite? Why do they have... I guess the white block just means their panic is slowly increasing. Yeah, this is the yellow. That's what we're going to get, right? So I think... What did I say? Just double check here. Japan and China. And they both give us pretty good money. So I think that has to be what I what I choose. I mean, a lot of times you can choose a good satellite we're based on several which the country has the highest the panic. That's smart, this too. Look like a legitimate but uh, I just want to make sure we get this 150 for the end of the month, so... You should see our monthly income go up. Oh, it only... It just doubles the number. It's not actually as much as I was hoping. K 
Okay, and it also takes four days to get there, so we don't really have very Satellite many spare days. Launched. Anyway, no interceptors in Asia. Well, we can transfer over a couple. And then China is kind of the next most profitable, so we'll go with that. Satellite uplink All right. facilities. I guess Excellent. they start paying immediately, but Additional it said the satellites won't go up for a little while. But Okay, so that's good. We got a little bit more coverage. Um, I mean, if I don't think it's possible to get enough satellites for Brazil, but maybe we can make it to Australia. We got maybe a month for that. Um, how thin do you think I can spread out the, uh, the Ravens? We've got five. Let's send two. Two to Asia. I'll definitely need to start building some more. But um, so far, our Ravens have been doing a pretty good job not getting shot down themselves. I'm sure as soon as the uh, the UFOs start getting stronger, this won't be the won't work so well. But uh, three for now and two. Maybe if I have the money, I'll build a third one there. We'll see if that's enough to hang on for now. All right, let's keep going. We can see a targeting module. We'll check that out too. All right. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Oh, good. Fourteen engineers. We're that's glad to have that's more also help good. Down here. Does that make stuff cheaper, or is it just uh, just faster? I believe, or you just require more engineers to build stuff like the next satellite uplink will take twenty, isn't it, or something crazy? Yeah. So we can't even think about the next satellite uplink until we get more engineers. That's why I'm focusing on engineers so much. Um. Maybe build a workshop might be smart. Right, so, um, right, we got a new item. Let's have a quick look here. How does this thing compare to the laser sight? The laser sight is just plus five aim. The targeting module, the new thing here, is plus seven crit. So nothing to do with aim at all, just critical. Hmm, it's not bad. Probably reasonably good for a sniper depending on how high their accuracy gets for now I'd rather just hit in general but I'll keep a, I'll try to remember about those those targeting modules for later because more critical could be good possibly those of you who have watched other let's plays know that I'm not a huge fan of crit in general right, Ravens have moved fissions has finished so we've got three fission generators we should have lots of electricity uh, this is six scientists, six sectoid corpses for two scientists. That's an even better deal than the last one. You guys can totally have them. I need to do some more missions pretty quick. We're gonna run out of corpses. Keep going. Okay, we got a request from Egypt. Complete. It's probably send us a satellite, but let's have a quick look. Oh no, it wants more sectoid corpses. Okay. Wowzers. Well, hopefully we get a mission in 18 days. Because we are getting scientists like crazy just giving out sectoid corpses. How are we doing? We should have, like, 14 now or something? I appreciate 15. your efforts to support Beautiful. the research Rupt team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits hey, to... It's good for progress, right? Alright, uh, we've finished our project. Research complete. So, we can now build scopes. I assume those will be better than laser sights and also... I don't know. I don't know what weapon gyros will do. But yeah, we'll try to build those as soon as we got some money. Scope and weapon gyros. I help the mechanized units. Okay. Small aim bonus. Okay, so it's probably aim for both. Okay, good. Now, unfortunately, I've used too many sectoid corpses to research all this stuff. I thought you only needed one for an autopsy. Ah. I wasn't paying attention. You only need you need lots. Whatever. Scientists are good. We got lots of stuff. So we can go for beam lasers. I think, seeing as I I already researched the first laser tech, or first weapons tech, instead of going back to armor, I think we'll stick, we'll, we'll try to get the actual lasers working. I expected that would be a priority research of course it task, is. Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project yes, immediately. Yes, yes. All right, continue on. Council report coming up. How do we do? Incoming transmission. So the first, what was it, five episodes, we just had missions like crazy for the first couple weeks of the month. And then in this episode, we just spent like two weeks doing nothing. <laughs> we are extremely impressed with the progress of the Extremely impressed. Far, yeah. Your I mean, recent results we did awesome. were beyond our expectations. We're awesome, guys. 
And Almost a thousand bucks. A statement this council makes lightly. <laughs> awesome. So uh, the next place to it'd be nice to finish up ch uh, to Asia, perhaps to get more engineers. I really wanted that Africa bonus, but we're not going to get it. Um, maybe we'll go for the South America bonus. I don't know. It's 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 easy. It's only two satellites. Uh, thing is, we don't have enough uh, engineers we will anyway. Be in touch, Commander. So now that we've got some money, let's have a look. There's a request. Let's see. Event list. South America request. That's the Brazil satellite. We're not going to make it. It's impossible. We'll have lasers. The Africa request for... What did Africa request? Corpses, right? Is this the one from Africa? Egypt. Yeah, that'll be Africa. Hopefully we get a mission by then. And what else is in the event list? Asia is another satellite. That's the one for Australia, I think. Actually, I don't think we can get another satellite in 20 days. I don't... We don't have enough engineers. I don't think it's possible. The new engineers arrived this We've morning. We've got 16. Commander. We're always glad to have more help. Down but there. we will need. We will need four more. So we're probably going to wait till next month. Get a few more. Unless we get lucky, get a quest for them or something. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer. We have 720 credits. I think no matter what, we're going to want to go down to the next level here. Um. I will start excavating here because well, this is where we'll put the next fission generator when we need it. We're already doing pretty good for that. And you know, I think I'm just going to start the alien conta con containment right now. Let's let's do some power add-on. We've got 31, this would be 35, 39, 49. We still have 5 spare after that for the foundry. So we can build a foundry, a lab, a workshop and alien containment, assuming we get enough money. And I will build probably a... I think I'll build a lab over here and a, and a um, workshop over here. That's the plan. And then maybe the foundry beside it. And then we'll start getting slightly cheaper items, and hopefully we'll have enough engineers to build another satellite uplink before From too much longer. I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much oh, we can do to stop them. I'm While we've got a bit of money, else in mind. better to spend it than not spend it, right? Order Interceptor. I'm going to hope that three is enough. We'll see how things go. I, I, it takes how long? It takes three days to get more. If we run into UFOs that we can't kill, then I may, um, I may buy some more. I mean, it also, it shouldn't take too long to research the next tier of, uh, of aircraft anyway. And then you want to replace them with the better, whatever the next step is anyway. Um, is there anything we can build yet? Yeah, there should be actually. Um, weapon gyros. That's f not what I wanted actually. We want a scope. I want to see 80 bucks. Significant increase to our aim. It's not cheap. Again, I like to build one when I'm learning how these things work. And we have just barely enough engineers anyway. Well, we'll get one done in a week kind of costs a lot of money, but we'll see how it does. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe it's... I mean, the lasers, we get a free one for plus 5 aim. We'll see what $80 gets us. It needs to give us, like, plus 15 for me to consider it being very worth it. If it's only, like, plus 7 or 8, nah, it's not worth the money. Contact detected. Okay, China. Uh-oh. This is a medium size. I don't even know if we have a chance, honestly. I mean, we might as well try. We've got two ready to go. This is actually, I sent over the experienced guy. We'll try aggressive just so we get a few extra shots, but I may have to abort if the Raven takes too much damage. It's kind of weird. We had such a long stretch of no Enemy contact. Is padlocked. All right, good luck. Good luck. Nearing strike range. Well, okay, just do too much damage. Come on. Heavy fire. One more hit and we'll run. Contact okay. lost. That's fine. We did some damage. Let's uh, send out the other one. Contact detected. I don't know if we can... I honestly don't know. This is why we probably need more than two ravens. I, I already started building the third one. Plus it's repair. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if we'll be able to catch it. It's, yeah, it just flew off. Well, we uh, maybe we scared it Contact off, eh? Lost. Maybe we scared it off. We're not going to get as many points since we didn't shoot it down, so... We tried! We tried! Uh, new request from Germany. Let's have a look. 
What does Germany want? They want a satellite. Well, everyone wants a satellite. I don't have any. Sorry, guys. Send me some engineers first, and then I will totally build you a satellite. <laughs> it's just down to engineers. I would spend lots of money if I could. Looks like we're going to Mexico. Commander. We're receiving several okay. requests for assistance. Well, it's there some money. Reductions in progress at each we need money. We need road. we need a mission. We've been we've been doing this episode for like 20 minutes. We need a mission. All right. So, I have a feeling that basically everyone's ready to go. We've had such a long break for a change of pace. Urban large structure, single large building. Okay. So, yeah, is everyone ready to go? Oh, okay, we got two people still wounded for a little bit longer. But other than that, we're ready to go. I'm going to bring, first and foremost, we've got a newbie. Or is it Jackie Jang? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce ZHs. We'll go with we'll go with Jang or something. Oh, I forgot to give him his beginner loadout. Give you your carbine. Give you your laser sight for now. And a uh, explodey grenade. Alright, so you got your newbie set up. We'll see how that does. Now, for more experienced people, what do we want here? Um, first off, we're going to bring one medic. Specialists. We'll, we'll save the... I don't know if we're going to bother bringing a corporal yet. We'll just bring specialists. Uh, I want to try to spread out the experience. Actually, we have quite a few people who haven't even gotten their first promotion. So, I'm thinking... Who looks really good? Who's a newbie that needs a chance? Rathorian, 74 aim, 4 HP, that's amazing. You're on the team. And maybe one more newbie will be okay for this one. Hopefully we're still early enough. Lord Prey, 4 HP, this is actually a nice stat, it's very nice. So we'll give you another chance. We'll try to get these three people a kill. And then we're gonna bring a medic for sure. So who gets to be our medic today? Uh, they're all specialists. Buzz Bunny has the least amount of HP, unfortunately. The Kent looks to be the best medic from uh, from an accuracy standpoint. Let's bring let's, let's bring the Kent for now. I don't know. I'll, I'll try to every now and then I'll check how many missions. I guess the Kent's been on two missions already, but I will try to balance those out. And what else do we want? Two more classes. Do we want rockets? I mean, Sandless did some amazing work with the rockets. Major Bear's already gotten a promotion. We could bring Surfius. Yeah, we'll bring a rocket here. I like rockets. And then someone else. Do we want like a scout or something maybe? I mean, Sergeant Kittens was doing a really good job last time. So scouts aren't bad. Snipers. This is all inside a building, so I don't know if a sniper is the best. It might not be super long range this time. So in that case, maybe an assault would be the way to go it. The way to go. Um... I think we'll take the Broar. Alright. He's got a grenade, rockets, med kit. I think this is about the right layout. Yeah, let's do this! Let's go, guys. It's been a while since we've had a mission. We've gone through, like... Three weeks. It's crazy. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Operation Patient Crown. Panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens. I actually would streets. prefer if we had we more missions than we've situation. had this episode so far. Um, lot. It's better to get the rewards than to just spend all the time doing nothing. I mean, you need a little bit of time for your people to recover, but we had too long. Central. This is Big Sky. Okay. Central. Let's get to work, guys. Roger, Big Sky. Everyone's Reading got five at least five, five. five HP. The green light for Jackie Zhang, the newbie, is kind of the least amount. Looks like there's a fair bit of room. It's a lot of parking lot, actually. One building. It said in the it said in the briefing just one building, with mostly parking lot around it. Maybe a sniper would have been fine. I thought it was going to be a build bigger building. All right. Well, I mean. Um, it's pretty safe behind this SUV. Why don't you pop over there and have a look? Move. Pretty safe, right? Okay. And uh, we're going to want to move up. Can anyone make it to that car? Yeah. That's probably Come safe on, for the Kent. He is our medic, so, you know, running up ahead, that's great strategy. No one else can make it to the car. Alright, so we'll take a dash to get there. Yes, we'll 
I would guess that there's not much chance there, that there's any aliens right close on the left side here. They're probably going to be in here or far to the right. So I don't want to worry about that left side too much. We'll probably want someone else over here. Yeah. Location confirmed. So Surfius can handle can help out the newbie over here. Go on Overwatch. And you can go on Overwatch. Please and thank you. And Rathorian, um Well, one person can hang out behind uh, the... Uh, I don't even know what these are called. Like, These are like the things the aliens use to like gas people, maybe? I don't know. There's a lot of like, you know, human bodies that have been sort of paralyzed or captured or something. I don't remember how it all works. Um, it's not super protection, but I'm going to put you here. And I don't think you can trigger any aliens from here. You better not, or else you're dead. Alright, let's figure out where these guys are and start planning out our attack. Oh good, we got new enemies. Great. Well that's a good start. Can't remember what these things are called. But they're kind of a pain. But we're having a really good first turn. That's two good hits. Two of them are damaged. Okay, let's think about this. So I, I actually can't remember what these guys are. They're like floaters. I think they were floaters in the old one, but I don't know if that's their name anymore. Um, there's probably one somewhere behind that van. There's probably two, actually. Or no, one is dead. Someone got a, a quick shot kill. Or maybe, was there only two? Did we do five damage and then three more to finish it off? Maybe that's what happened. Um, I'm going to start with the experienced troops. Because I want the kills to go to the newbies, is kind of my plan here. Hopefully that's safe. Relatively safe. Alright, 50%. It's not great to take the shot, but it's pretty good. 50%, you know, 50-50. Adjusting sights. Didn't make it though. Alright, the Broar. You got a shotgun. You would love to just run and gun right there and blast this guy to pieces. We'll save your turn for emergency. We got Surfius here with an assault rifle. Um, what we're gonna do is move up a little bit. Enemies in sight. Oh, good, more. <laughs> At least they're just sectoids. The guy on the roof might be a pain, though. Um, but my plan was to move Surfius Copy over that. and take a shot at the floater. I assume they're floaters. That's not a very good shot, is it? Dang it. Well, you're not going to be able to rocket the uh, second place. Hmm. Missed. And then I wanted to try to get a possible flank from here. Got it. I don't know for sure if, if we'll get it. Looks like we got it. Okay, so you got 78%. What else have we got? 48. Plus we've got the shotgun. Plus there's sectoid up there. And I think two more in the building, so we, want, we got to keep that in mind. Alright, well let uh, Lord Prey take a shot here. Not so lucky on this turn, unfortunately. Alright, well, it's very unlikely you're going to kill it, but maybe you'll get a crit. You got a crit! Still didn't kill it, but... Not bad. Rathorian, you're a newbie, right? I don't know if I can put you anywhere where you can shoot. I mean, you can shoot from here. 41%. Um, if you get the kill, you'll get promoted, so this is your shot. There you go. Bye-bye. Good. Good deal. So, that leaves the Broar. I'm going to put him here because technically the Kent, <laughs> or just Kent, I should call him, is sort of open for flanking, but if I put uh, someone with a shotgun right here, when you love us. if anyone runs around that corner, we should get a good shot at them. I'd say that was an okay turn. I got an alien over there, taking a shot. Requesting immediate Suppressing? Nah, I don't care about suppression. Ah, yes, there's still one of these. Ooh, I think we got lucky there. I, th I wasn't sure if we killed them all, so I guess one of them had 7 HP. 
right? The one we just shot last turn. One of them had five, was killed with the reaction, and another one had five and was killed or only injured. So, if I can share the kills, I would like the newbies to get kills. Lord Prey can't move right now. Jackie Zhang can. How are we going to take that guy out? This will not be flanking. The shotgun, I mean, I'm pretty sure the Broar can take that floater out, no problem. Very, very high chance. The Kent will probably want to move to cover. The Kent. Because he's our medic. I mean, optimally here, what I would do is have someone kill that sectoid so that Lord Prey is not um, suppressed. And then he can just move right here and just destroy that thing. I hope. <laughs> Alright, let's have you guys work on this uh, this sectoid. See if you can get him. 32. Could be worse. Nice! Unfortunately, you don't get a promotion for injuring. Does that break the suppression just hitting it once? I didn't know that. We'll have the Kent, the Medic, Moving move to, to slightly position. better cover. Now we can have, we have eyes on two of them now. Still try to take out this guy first because he's already injured. Although this is an assault rifle, we do more damage than the, um, the carbine. So you might just kill that guy in one shot. No, he's got five. It won't happen. Yeah, two damage. Good Target enough. Eliminated. Out of ammo here. So now I'm pretty sure that Prey can move up. I'm and as long as he doesn't miss, this should get him a promotion. 100%. I... That's 100%, right? There you go. You got yourself a promotion. You didn't take any damage, right? Those things don't explode. I gotta relearn a lot of stuff, so <laughs> you never know, right? Alright, we got three people left. I know where one uh, sectoid is. Actually, I know where both are. There's one on the roof, right? Um, but if I move to here, he'll take a shot for sure. I don't like that. So I think we're just going to move over yeah, a little bit left. and overwatch it. I'd rather be safe for now. I think Rathorian needs to maybe move up and reload. Okay. That'll be fine. Ready I hate running out of ammo in the heat of battle. It's no good. And Surfius, what can you do? Don't think he can get any shots at this guy from here. And you can hide behind this door, car Solid door. Copy. Maybe you'll have an angle. No. Possibly to use a, uh, a rocket or something, but we'll just overwatch. We should be okay. What does he do? He runs out like a fool, and he gets killed, right? Nice try. I'm glad I, I put you there. That was a good spot. We just didn't get the lucky shot. Alright, we got two two sectoids in. Ouch! Lucky! So now we've got one person panicked. That's great. Well, at least the action they picked was good. Hunker down is more likely to keep you alive. So the Kent, I'm sorry about that. Uh, this is a tough nut to crack. How are we going to get in there? The main thing is to not trigger any more UFO or more aliens. You've got a shot. 37 is not great. You've got a shot. 29. You don't. You don't. You do. Okay, let's start from here. 32. 47 is pretty solid. Oops, I actually didn't mean to shoot. I meant to. Dang it. Need a resupply. Oh well, Mr. that wasn't a horrible decision. It just wasn't the one. I didn't mean to do that just yet. Ah, alright. So I think what I'm going to do is have Rathorian move up. Um, there's not really any cover that we can get to. I could throw a grenade at him. Might be a good idea. If that destroys his cover, you know, that's, that's what we're going to do. If that destroys his cover, then we can finish this guy off fairly easy. It'll probably alert all the other aliens, but that's okay. Alright. You can totally finish him off, right? Pretty good chance. 74%. Better than we used to have. 
problem. No problem. All right, one down. Now, the Kent is our assault, right? No. I don't know what the Kent was. Field all these. The medic is the one that's been injured. Great, and I can't do anything to help him. All right, who we got left? We got one, two, one, two. Well, we basically got to start doing some damage to that guy up there. There's not a whole lot of options here, so move over. Can you throw a grenade up there? I don't think so. I don't think the blast radius will help out destroying his cover, unfortunately. He's only in half cover, but he's got a nice height advantage. I mean, the shotgun can certainly take him out if it hits. Not so lucky. Dang it. Exactly. Alright, Rathorian. I, I, someone has left me a comment that uh, that means they're already going to get promoted, so I can remember that. Uh, Rathorian can't get into any good position either to shoot. Um, I think he'll take a look inside. Hopefully I don't trigger anything. This is kind of foolish, to be honest. Yeah, I should have known better. I got a little hasty. Okay, that was, that was a bad idea. I'm sorry, Rathorian, if I killed you, that was just me being lazy. Alright, he's off the roof. That actually is good. This is less good. The fact that this guy automatically gets a flank and a shot could the side. Ah. be the death of someone. At least it's only four damage. Okay. Does he get a flank? Oh no! No! <laughs> Critically wounded. Okay. Are you? Have you got your act together? The Kent has recovered from panic. Okay, we can salvage this, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ah. Uh. Okay, Prey took some damage, but he's he's still he's still able to fight. We got, oh man, I don't have enough. I don't have enough people. You don't even have ammo. Oh, bad. He's on Overwatch. I'd love to take this guy out so that we can just focus on the uh, floaters. I wonder if the car will blow up and kill him. We're gonna hope that this car just blows up. Go! Grenades! Did not blow up the car. Dang it! <laughs> Alright you guys, let's let's focus here. How are we gonna how are we gonna take this guy out? This is one of the tough ones, 7 HP. You've got a rockets! Rockets! Rockets work. The shot is not blocked. Don't tell me the shot is blocked. I would prefer to hit two if possible. Can I, um, I just want to rotate a bit. Okay, there we go. Fire rocket. Come on, let me sort this out. Looks... Maybe... Okay, one of the problems is I know that there's another floater over there that's on Overwatch. The Shredder is more likely to hit them both. That will hit them both, probably. I don't know, they're kind of half mechanical though, so I don't know how much damage it will do for sure. We'll try. With pleasure. Come on, Shredder. Well, we shredded that one at Check least. Your position. Rock it off course. Didn't, didn't hit them both like I was really hoping. Um, Prey, you need some cover. Should I move the Medic first? Uh, I need to keep you alive. Let's have you sort of hide out. Full cover should be a lot safer. Can we get a lucky shot here, please? A crit? A 5% crit? Nah, not even a hit. Ouch. And then the medic, the problem is, we need to get there within a couple day, a couple turns. But you've got no ammo, plus your, um... You need to heal yourself, really. Uh, where can I move? If I move to this side, that guy flanks us. I need to get closer to there. I think I have to keep the medic alive. So we're gonna move here. Headed there now. Gotta keep them seriously. I didn't think this guy would have a line of sight, but it's all right. It's all right. Nothing to worry about. 
I thought we'd be behind cover. Now, I don't think the floaters will have a chance at shooting the medic this turn. So we're going to try to heal... Rub some dirt on um, it, wimp. Whatever your name is. The wimp. <laughs> so he might be able to survive a shot if he's lucky. Now, you pretty much have to reload. I don't think... I mean, what do you guys think? Can you shoot through there? I doubt it. Well, let's find out. I mean, I don't know. I doubt Bring you can out. shoot through there. No. Let's Where's reload. Whatever. <laughs> kind of a waste of a turn, but I didn't really have anywhere good to move that guy anyway. So this guy's kind of pulling back. That's good. There's still three of these. I think everyone's in cover. Man, that guy is deadly. Oh, guys, this is... New enemies are causing me some problems here. Two turns. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get some open ground. Oh, man. Okay, the Kent, you got no ammo. I, I think we're in big trouble. I, I know we're in big trouble. Can I hit, is there any way to hit them both? I don't think so. Because they fly, they're kind of up above. I don't even know if this rocket's going to hit it, to be honest. Oh, if you hit right there. Well, we got to take this guy out. I mean... A 14% chance. Is there really any chance this is going to work? He's got no pistol, so it's either reload or shoot a rocket. That's as good as we get, I think. We got him. All right, that helps. That helps. That takes out the most dangerous of the uh, of those guys. So you're not able to help out at all, unfortunately. It's not safe from floaters. It's not safe. It doesn't do anything. That's pointless. You gotta, you gotta get into the action. You gotta get into the action. <sighs> Got an overwatch. Shotgun is so bad at long range. The wrong person on the wrong side here. We are definitely caught out of position. 11%. There's no way. Um, What if we just ignore that sectoid and run over here? We'll run and gun. Just take a lucky shot at that guy. He's probably going to overwatch at us, but... I mean, Roar's pretty tough. We gotta get someone over here. We only have a couple turns. I just don't have enough. I don't have time. We got. We gotta move here, basically. All right, sectoid, come on. Yeah, you're you're bad at shooting. You're injured. You're just a puny little nothing. This guy, well, you're just you're nothing special, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you're bad aiming. Your little plasma pistol. All right, then the shotgun. You know, 29%. Come on. We need some luck here, guys. Ah, dang it. All right, what do we got? We got a medic. We got one guy with no ammo. <laughs> oh, boy. I could shoot a pistol, but that's not going to help. Could move up here and reload, I guess. More people for them to shoot at. Move into position. <laughs> Oh, and I basically have to start moving the medic forward or else there's no way I can stabilize him. I think it's next turn I have to stabilize him or else he's dead. Um, Actually, this is really bad. Where can I move the medic? I can dash to there, but then it's likely the medic will just get shot and killed. Ooh, this is bad. This is a bad one, guys. I should have moved... Okay. Well, Broar needed to take that shot. Because, I mean, it would have been okay to put the medic there for a little bit of cover. Heal himself. I... Is there any way I can save this guy? I mean, I can just move to, like, here. How many, how many squares can we move? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. I think it's just seven squares. So if I move to here, the next turn he can go one, two, th I don't think he'd be able to make it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, he's still two squares short or three squares short. I was thinking of hiding like here because we might be out of range. But no, we literally have to move like all the way up to here if we want to have a chance. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, if I start there, if I start here, if I do the move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. So like this is, I have to get at least that close. Sort of on that diagonal. I think I can move here. Headed there now. I have to try to heal him. To stabilize. We'll heal ourselves so that we can withstand one shot, assuming it's not a horrible crit. Other than that, I don't know how I can possibly save anyone's life. I still might lose people here. It just depends on the luck. Uh, no, no, and he's no, panicked, no, no, so it's please, done. No, okay. Dang it! No. Oh, that was all my fault. Me. I'm sorry, you're dead. Taking well, actually, the, the medic's alive. <sighs> Dang it! I am really sorry about all this. It was my mistake. I should not... I I wasn't expecting them to be that close, but I really shouldn't have moved whoever Rathorian up like that. Dang it! And we mean, we've lost one basically now, and we could easily lose the medic next. Plus there's a sectoid back there somewhere. Alright, start from the back. Maybe Jackie Jane can turn it around here. 47% chance. Come on, please hit. Alright, thank you. Alright. We need damage. We're out of rockets, we're out of we're out of everything. Just it's gotta reload. There's nothing else to do. We got a shotgun. Should probably move closer and shoot. And we got an assault carbine. Fair chance of finishing this one off. Alright, good. Good. And then if we're lucky, take the yep, chance, we'll move Roar up, take the shot, please hit. Okay. Oof. So there's only probably one person that's going to die, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Rathorian. I just could not get the medic there in time. There was no way safely to do that. And the Kent is not doing very good. Let's get him in cover. Reheal himself a little bit more. We're definitely taking a lot more damage. New enemies, right? Oh, jeez. This is stressful. <laughs> I didn't want to lose anybody. What's making that I, I thought we were doing so good up to this episode. Alright, Jackie, you can have a look. Alright, you found him. Take the shot. You need a kill. 47, you need that kill. One damage, that's disappointing. Not so good. Alright, so how are we going to regroup out of this? Um, Lord Prey got a kill. Surfius is reloaded, ready to go. Put we'll you here. Be. Can't see anything, but we'll put you on Overwatch. And we'll have Roar dash back. We're just regrouping out this van, because... Uh, Man, we're in we're in a tight spot. A little bit tighter than I wanted. And I'll move you up just a touch. And put you on Overwatch. I just don't want to get surprised right now. We don't have enough HP. So where did that guy go? He went up on the roof. Alright. We might have a good angle on him. Not quite. 32. He still managed to get full cover, unfortunately. Thanks to the meld that we had no chance of getting. If I move over to here, we've got a good angle on him. But then we suffer an overwatch. Um, I mean, I'd really like to get Jackie the kill. Because then uh, we know for sure he'll promote. You know what? I've already made enough stupid mistakes. Let's try another one. Dodge, Jackie. Dodge. He did not touch. It's only three damage. It's a flesh wound. You'll be, you'll be fine. Now take it out. All right. 
gamble Everything paid off numbers. just fine actually wow so they i i mean i never had to leave my starting location so we got a little bit unlucky i would say with the aliens being really close to our drop off because we killed nine that's a pretty good number but they really surrounded us at the beginning so we couldn't move forward at all i'll try to remember that in the future just to be a little bit more cautious because i i could have prevented that death i i take that i take that that's me all right well let's uh we got prey is now a specialist Rathorian died. That's too bad. That is too bad. Um. Yeah, that's all we got. Jackie Zhang did not get a promotion? I thought you always got a promotion if you killed something on your first mission. Huh. Maybe I was wrong. Anyway, we got some sectoid corpses. Floater. Yeah, they are floaters. That's the. I, I did remember it eventually. One mel. That's kind of too bad. 80 bucks. Does not pay Remember, for the loss of a soldier. We will be watching. Um, do we send the corpses? I think honestly, getting all these scientists early on is worth it. I know we need sectoid corpses for research, but for now, I'd rather um, just keep getting faster research because there's still lots of stuff to research that doesn't need that them, right? Of flesh and metal troubles me. What do we risk with our own? So we're up to uh, sorry, we're up to 18. So we've almost we got double the, the base um, uh, research, really so we'll be able to go for armor anything, pretty easily, for right? Of total I, I, th I think we'll do weapons and then armor, future, and then we'll go for uh, right, capture. The That's sort of the order I'm thinking. In the right hands. Um, and I suppose... Rathorian, the first actual permanently killed person. I brought Shark out because that was a bug, he shouldn't have died. But Rathorian died due to my incompetence. I'm sorry, Rathorian. <laughs> we'll say a couple words. Because you died so young, I might bring you back eventually. We'll see how many more names I get. Uh, I'll put you on the wait list for a new name, for a new, new character. I might buy some more soldiers, to be honest. I was thinking about that. Um, let's, let's spend a little bit of money. Let's just bring five new ones. Hopefully we get some good stats. I don't want to spend too much, but... Uh, Anyway, I think that's it for this episode. Sorry about the uh, one fatal mistake that I feel like I made. Other than that, I mean, you know, I gotta learn somehow, right? And that was the first run-in with floaters, so. Alright, folks, hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.